This is a tutorial for Illustrator CS5 and the use of the additional plugin path. The plugin I'm going to be using is the Perspective Grid plugin from graphicextras.com. Right, now just quickly select that file, there's Perspective Grid, and the normal location for the plugin would be in the program files, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator, and all that sort of thing. But you will need the admin privilege to actually store the plugin file there. The way around that is to use the additional plugin path in Illustrator. So I'm just going to go to Illustrator now and edit preferences plugins scratch disks. Right. Check the additional plugins folder, which is already checked, so I've already set one up and create a folder for the plugins called I've created mine here, user basic my plugins. Now, obviously, I'm just going to cancel this point, but you click OK once you've done that. And I'm just going to go to the folder where it's actually located. The basic my plugins, just to show you the plugins there. There it is. Go back to Illustrator. And now, if you go to the filters and bring up, and there's perspective grid plugin. The reason I say it's mainly because if depending on the accounts that you're using, so if you're using an admin account, this wouldn't be an issue. But if you're using, say, just a basic user account, this might be a problem. So the additional plugin part is an easy way around that solution. Thing. Another reason also is if you're, say, moving from CS4 to CS5, of course, if you set up an additional plugins folder in CS4, you put all your plugins there, then when you go to CS5, you don't have to reinstall some plugins, not all, but some plugins. You can basically just access the exactly same location again in CS5. That'd be a quick and easy way of doing that. 